Hey everyone, welcome back to Insurmountable. Thanks to Daylight Games and Nightwalkers or Ricky uh, to do a brief overview of what happened last time. We finally reached the camp and got some twists and turns in the in the storyline. Uh, for those who wanted to keep spoiler free. I'll try not to expose uh, what happened in the beginning, but let's just say we're looking for a scientist right now. And uh, we slept in a cave and we got beaten up by accident because we startled somebody. We, we woke them up just to let them know that we were in the cave <laughs> as a courtesy, but it did not seem like a good choice on our part. You know, let's continue the game. Play this for an hour. And uh, we'll see where we go. It's at least significantly more energy when climbing big height differences in comparison to normal steps. We also had a bunch of upgrades too. Uh, I think my, my climber Okay, so this is called a scientist on mission. My climber can now carry more stuff. And I think we upgraded how much heat we can have. We, we can uh, increase heat by moving. So here we are, we're back at the bottom. Now we will go up. Let me see if I can change my equipment. There's a hiking staff. Mm. I like to sort my items. Let's see if we can go here. Body temperature should be going up. Oh, we lost the gloves. We, uh, we traded with a lady who took our gloves. It's gonna be raining. So we are getting pretty cold. Oh, now we're now we have body temperature. I guess it only works during the day. So I'm trying to see the best way to go about going here. Could avoid the ice. Definitely warming up. Our sanity is a little bit down. So so far so good. Thank you all for voting for this game. I wasn't sure what to do for a series. Sometimes I ask for uh, a response and I don't really expect a lot of people to, to uh, what do you call it, to respond. But I appreciate those that do. When I asked for the uh, your series vote, to the people that really like a certain, I know I do a lot of variety of stuff and people just focus on the videos they like to see, like the do-it-yourself people. I notice when I have do-it-yourself stuff. Okay. As you pick your way across some boulders and edge of precipice, there's an indigenous man below you, uh, waving his arms frantically, trying to tell you in a hurry how many of the rocks are loose and danger plummeting into the depths. So last time I moved carefully, the guy died. I quickly hopped from rock to rock to escape the danger zone. Until here, crash behind you, glance over your shoulder, discover a chunk of rock is plummeted from a height and smashed to the ground, near feet from where the stranger is standing. That was close. We didn't kill him this time. Okay, we're, we're learning from our mistakes, like, like Tony Stark. <laughs> I've been watching, uh, because there's the new movies out, or coming out, I've been watching uh, some uh, reviews of the Avengers stuff. They mentioned Tony Stark learns from his mistakes. An old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly toothless smile and mentions we sit with her to recharge her strength. As you do, she just uh, suggests and regain. Ooh, I like warmth. There we go. That's what we needed. So, 
It'd be treacherous to go back down. Let's keep going up. Let's mark where our next place would be. Right hand side has some snow. But it's got that missile thing. The left hand side has more objects. It's a little bit more treacherous. Might. Let's go this way. This is a little bit wonky. Mm -hmm. You go this way. Go oh, right in the middle. This might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Get all these things here. I'll grab that missile thing here. Hopefully it's not too treacherous. Oh, as I was saying, uh, sometimes I ask uh, questions. I don't really expect a lot of people to respond. And there are people that focus on the videos that they like. Because they, they, they join the thing with the variety kind of thing. And the thing with doing variety stuff is that you'll always attract uh, people who do various different things. All right, let, let's continue. Steps have been honed into the stone, leading you to a uh, pedestal, sword, some type of religious site or shrine, maybe? You're not particularly a uh, spiritual person, but somehow this place feels holy. It might just be your imagination, but you pray the, sh the shrine for 36.5 energy. It's two energy. Okay. There's something down there. Looks like it clears up the area and it's not as treacherous. Okay, we'll go there. We'll change our boots here. So we are in the snow. So yeah, um, I know I have 1.75k subscribers, but that was accumulated over a long period of time where for a while, I didn't get a lot of subscribers for certain games, but I play I played those games anyway because to fulfill um, whatever uh, someone asked uh, earlier or requested for them. So I can't just simply you know stop uh, the content made. It's just my hope that the person is still watching. <laughs> Anyway, uh oh, this looks um, can go in there. Okay, might have been a mistake to go down here. There we got rocks. There's an exclamation point because we're in the danger zone. Good thing we had energy. This will do. Okay. We'll have snow up here for a little bit. This is ice right here. Maybe a problem. We'll climb down the more stable platform here. I like, I like how you have to plan out stuff in this game. Thinking that every move is your last. I mean, I know it's an odd thing to like. Speaking of likes, if you do like this kind of stuff. The only way I would know if you like this kind of stuff is if you do like, or if you comment that you liked it. Otherwise, I just keep making these videos. <laughs> now, I'll move to a different thing. So I, I vary the, uh, since we have so many games to choose from, and anyway, we will continue on. You're standing at the entrance to the glacial cave. The light that finds its way through the thick ice makes the walls glow a deep, invigorating blue. Nice. Let's 
just what we needed. Okay, so I'll go back up here. That's a treacherous area here. Anyway, so yeah, it makes sense, right? If you're the content creator, you need to know what the video person likes. The only way they, the only way you would know is not by just you know if nobody does anything. But if somebody just says, I like this video, or I, I should do something for the video. Local man sitting up against the rock faces you. I uh, waved you over. She approached him, he holds out an oxygen bottle. His face contorted with pain. It's just something to you, but you don't understand a word. Ooh, this uh, definitely hurts a lot here. But it helps me out. So it's for five hours. It's nighttime. It'll be, it'll be daytime by then. There's no tent nearby. Let's help this guy out. Uh, I know it might be risky. It's a lot of... But I have a feeling this would be a good thing to do. Look at the stranger who keeps grabbing his shoulder. You're sure he has dislocated it. Ooh. Just try to hold out his hand to you, pull it with a jerk, he screams. There's silence. A few seconds later, the stranger is beaming at you. He offers you the oxygen bottle again, which you trade. I'm glad you were able to help him. There we go. See? Good deeds. Mr. Deeds. <laughs> But we lost, we did lose a lot of stuff. Controlled breathing, increase oxygen per hour. Yep, I'll pick this one. I like the active effects until the end of the mission. Okay, so we're okay. The sun should come up soon. There's a way to get down here safely. We'll go down the ice path here. That one looks like a treacherous. Area. We should probably change our boots just temporarily. Here it'll change back to the stone. Just a couple of rocks here to go down this path, but all of these are labeled treacherous. We're gonna go down here. This rock here, up there. And should we go in there? I guess it's. In retrospect, if I was streaming live, you guys would tell me right away if you liked the thing or not. The branches are a nearby bush are completely covered in spider webs as you take a closer look. Several spiders are vanishing to hold on the ground and bend over. It's big to hold, looks like there's something hidden in there. This is the one where the spiders crawl over, but you have something. You get something back. Oh, nice. The spiders get her over your hands, but they don't hurt you. Fingertips, brush something soft, cloth bag. You pull it on, discover equipment inside. We got a flashlight. Sweet. Oh. Does it run out of battery, though? It might. That's no, okay. All right. Uh, we'll continue. Oh, shoot. Why crack in the ground in front of you bring to you to your brown? How oh, you look to that jagged eyes, uh, ice reaches up at you like spears, so you hear rumbling behind you. It's already to turn around that much of ice is not rushing toward you, cutting off your way, you're trapped. We're gonna have to jump across. I have a tent, so let's do it. Quickly take a few steps, run up the leaf, your arms fail. Flail, but instead of feeling solid ground beneath your feet again, you slam into ice wall, full force slide down the speck of ice pours its way into your thighs. You grab a hold of rocky outcrop and agonizing pain. Put yourself up to the crevice, saving yourself. I broke my... Dang it. Now let's see what this is. Hopefully I can repair myself. 
Discovery a tree, you do not know how to get a survivor this altitude at the site. Come see. Oh, God. Okay. Let's level up. One more push. Uh, no. No. Explore the mountain. Stay warm. Let's do this one. Sweet. Might need to sleep, but let's see. We can continue a little bit. Do I have anything for my... We'll wait a little for the... Uh, my energy. You reach the shore of a frozen mountain lake. An embankment. Find what remains of the camp. Oh, I don't have enough canned food. That would have been good for energy. Shoot, should I sleep? What time is it? 8.34. Take a small nap. I don't see any tents. Where's the summit at? I'm going backwards. Aw, oh, man. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm scaling backwards. I think I'm taking the long scenic route. Okay. Going to have to uh, scale this mountain. And then go back around. It's going to be a long episode. Or no, this is going to be a long series. Just what I wanted um, for this game to last. Alright, I think I might be at the point where it's going to be low on energy. So we shall sleep a little bit. Six hours. It's four. I sleep more. Ten. That's eight p.m. You can try. Okay. Can't see anything, but it's all right. There's a ten right there. Dang it! Is it always there? Yeah, I'm going blind. Smooth sparkling stones catches your eyes, surface covered in delicate, uh, complex patterns of ice crystals that remind you of saplings, ferns, and blossoms. Beautiful sight. Let's examine. Stare at the patterns of frost, uh, transfix. They might just be collections of water molecules, but they symbolize the beauty and diversity of life. The longer you gaze at them, the stronger you feel. Ooh, nice. So we don't need to sleep tonight. And we'll go down here. I should need to sleep a little bit. I'm all confused by this. I went up and then I went down. It's getting pretty cold. This, this area is treacherous here, which is better. This, oh, that's covered. There's a people thingy in here. Discover a large leather saddlebag lying the ground right next to it. You cover, discover faded footprints. We find an intact tent and saddlebag. All right, we can uh, trade. There's nothing in the saddlebag. No. This might be treacherous, but it's the only path down. That was my only way up, I think. So that was the camp that we were from, right? Like. Mm -hmm. Nothing unknown fruit you discover your wild bears in a bush to bright color orange almost you hesitate it could be poisonous to a little sustenance so the last time we didn't die let's let's trust this one i guess we're gonna have diarrhea all night Berries are slightly starved but fresh and tasty you feel and replenish your energy and strengthening you for a long journey Grateful that nature challenges you, it also takes care of you. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. It's still cold though. Let's go. It's still. Jeez. It's treacherous down here. Actually, I need to go back up. I have enough energy where I. I don't really need to sleep right now. Let's go back up. We might regret this later. We'll see. All right. 
gonna go down here. We might need to change equipment because it's snowy. We'll spend less energy. I am pretty cold though. I don't have any tea or anything. When is it's gonna be a while for till it's daytime. It's getting pretty cold here. When I go on the ice, it's going to get even colder. There's a cave here. Or it looks like it is. Air is getting thin. Your breath is heavy. You've entered the death zone. Serve your breath. Summit fever. Or I said I will mend my wounds. Okay. I'm going up now. Train slopes down in front of you. It's completely covered with boulders and fragments of rock. Jeez. Oh, that's gonna be critical. My heat. I only have negative 7.3. Which time do I have left? Three hours. We're gonna have to do this. It's gonna get really cold. So if anything turns into zero, we die. That's the thing. I'll have to climb over the rocks. You test every rock twice before putting your full weight on it. Your caution pays off your power reach level ground. Your turn. I should have slept in a tent. This is not good. All right, we're gonna go here and then we will call it a night because it's approaching the hour. I think we made bad choices this time around, but it goes to show uh, we should plan our stuff more carefully, our choices. But I have a good feeling it won't make it out anyway. Suddenly, you hear a loud bark behind you. You spin around to see a giant Saint Bernard pounding toward you, panting its long tail, uh, its tongue lolling. As the obedient sits at your feet, uh, you notice the harness on its back. There is a bag strapped to it. Let's try and search the bag. Always patiently as you search the bag, you find equipment inside. You got tea. Nice. I need that. Snow boots. Sweet. This is good. Alright. We got tea. I could use the tea right now. Okay. Good job. Nice. We got saved by St. Bernard. Oh, we are supposed to call it a night. I was excited. Sorry. <laughs> Alright guys, once again. As I mentioned earlier, if, if you do like this content, hit the like button. It lets me know I should make future content so that you don't miss any future videos. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell, and I'll see you in three days. It's John Nezadam signing out. You have been watching Insurmountable. We managed to circle around the wrong side. Or... We're uh, taking the scenic route back to the mountain, so stay tuned for the next episode. We made some interesting choices here, but this is what this game is about. Making interesting choices. Anyway, it's John Azadam signing out. Take care, stay safe, stay warm, and remember, you're essential.